making hit comedy records, and appearing in the goons every Sunday. Everything he did was successful. He was in a position to call the shots when Peter Hall invited him to make his first and what would turn out to be his last appearance in a West End stage play. It was one of the most um, amazing and terrible experiences of my life because uh, one of the things about working in the theatre is that you have to repeat what you do every night and you have to repeat it to the best of your ability as well as you did the night before to suit some people but well, Peter couldn't bear doing it again and again and again in fact I saw him when he fell off the stage in Blue Ha Ha which I was sitting out in front with Dave Lodge and I thought oh my god he's gone a bit far this time and because uh, he, he was doing a dance and he actually fell off stage with the actress I mean, he went on one day with a 16 mil camera on his shoulder and took, he actually photographed the whole play when he was playing it. And they had, to, the rest of the cast knew nothing about it until I actually saw him doing it. And he just, I used to get two or three phone calls a week from the management saying, Tom down here right away, he's done something terrible. Right? But that was again because he really doesn't like theatre. He doesn't like the bits of the mother. A piece to improvise in new jokes. Uh, sometimes came on in new costumes and new entrances. He, he loved making the, the cast laugh. So he turned it into a kind of uh, goon show. Peter would phone me up and say, how's the script going? And I said, it's going like this. There was a man. I said, I've got that down. What time is it, Echo? <laughs> Just a minute, I, I got it written down here on a piece of paper. <laughs> and a nice man wrote the time down for me this morning. Oh, then why do you carry it around with you, Echo? Well, um, if uh, anybody asks me the time, <laughs> I, I can show it to them. The rest of us, a public place, we do another thing. We'd like be in the playground after school on a Sunday, because we'd all be getting together with, uh, with our own little uh, jokes and things and what we picked up in the week. Close glasses and silly, naughty jokes, then settle down to do the show. Yeah. Spike was one of the subjects. He just Spike got to do the show, uh, the right them. And in the end, he was Spike and he said, oh, I mean, it really broke up his marriage and broke up his health. So he was the one who really has uh, a cause to uh, think of the goon show is not all that much fun. Wait a minute, Deckers, my good man. <laughs> what is it, Polly? 
is written on this bit of paper, what is a slot is written. I know that, my good fellow. I thought uh, when I asked a fellow to write it down, it was a of clock. Well, then, supposing when somebody asks you the time, it isn't 8 o'clock. Well, then I don't show it to them. I don't think you can define talent. Uh, I don't think you can make actors. Peter, in certain respects, was, I mean, he was as good an actor as Guinness. And he had uh, the ability to identify completely um, with another person and think his way physically and mentally and emotionally into their skin. Where does that come from? I have no idea. Is it a curse? Often. Uh, I don't think there's a correlation which is direct. I mean, I think it's not enough in this business to have talent. You have to have talent to handle the talent. And that, I think, Peter did not have. I think he was a genius. And I think his perfectionism made him extremely neurotic, extremely selfish. I mean, I'm sure always the play or the film was only about him, in his view. Uh, and, it, I mean, it's no good arguing with that. That's the nature of that kind of uh, psychic. <laughs> On the back of all his success, Sellers was able to buy the first of many big houses. It was in Wetstone, North London. He dubbed it St. Fred's. Well, now, this is a little what to do with a bit of focusing while you're about it. Yeah, that's right, that's better focus there. I can see much better now. Keep it on, Michael. Um, this is me showing him round the garden and showing him some of my flowers when I grow there for Mr. and Mrs. Sellers. Uh, I can show you this better if I have a bit of music. Ah, that's it, that's better. Not too much, just a bit right. Now then, there's me showing Michael my Nericonendrum. Now, they're beautiful flowers, I bear Nericonendrum. And you can't get them, you know. You can't get them nowhere. Uh, so this is Oakley Avenue, known as St. Fred's. It's really the first home I really remember. And I think it's essentially it's built on the house there. It's a bit over the garage, not built for that one. So this is um, early stuff of uh, early magnetic strike. And I would imagine that he had just got a hold of the equipment uh, and had made this film and had put the stripe on. And then, quite evidently, just turned it on Snuck the mic, got hold of the microphone, and ad libbed his way through the film. It's Somerset cut acting, really. They all are gardener type voices. Right, when we're trying to see what sort of reproduction at 24 frames per second we get when we put the sound on tournament. You see, you have to have it on tournament. Michael! Michael! That's it, that was, that was his dad. And there he is, running over to his dad now. See that? There he goes. Uh, he's a lovely little fella. I always remember him with a light meter. I always remember the light meter dangling. Because I was light meter height. And they were always there. See, my, my memory of Peter is a house with cameras, lights, and lots and lots of cable all over the place. You know, and, 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 and drawers and cupboards full of tables and plugs and lamps and, and uh, camera, I don't know, everything. Oh, yeah. Michael! Michael! Come here at once, you naughty little boy. And there's Michael going over to his mummy to see what she wants. Get some music and put you 
behind the head cut in. And you also liked, um, he liked making models. He used to do that with Graham Stark. I think we have the entire...